I'd like to thank the board for coming out uh, short notice to uh, uh, resolve the de determine the final the deem is FEIS complete for Project Sailfish. We're to hope that we can get it to the public as soon as we can as the hearing is due to open, uh, reopen on the 12th. And the purpose of this meeting is for the board to discuss the FEIS and to deem whether it's complete or not. We have a resolution to that fact if we get to that point. Mr. Chairman. Rich, you had uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman, uh, you're in violation uh, of public office nope, law that's article what seven, on. section 104, a uh, public notice. You're in violation of that rule. Now, I'll read you the rule now. Excuse Public me. notice of the Hold time and place of the meeting scheduled at least one week prior. There too shall be given or electronically transmitted to the news media and shall be conspicuously posted in one or more designated public locations at least 72 hours prior to the meeting. You're in violation of that rule. No, we're not. Yes, yes, Rachel is yes, you are. You better explain. Yes, you because this is a disgrace, Freddie. It's a disgrace no, what you're, you're doing. You're wrong. It's a disgrace. You're you wrong. know what's going on in this town right now. You know how involved this public is. And you purposely have a 9 a.m. meeting one day after your post notice. It's a disgrace. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, state law says if you call a meeting less than one week ahead of time, which this is, you do your best to let the media know, which we did. The record even ran an article. The 72-hour rule does not apply. I called the state yesterday on this. The state said the special and emergency meetings are only for one particular reason. If there is an actual emergency... This is not an emergency. This could be delayed to the 12th. When you, Freddie, you said you moved a continuance to the 12th. You didn't have to have this meeting. This here is a direct insult to the residents of this township. Excuse me. There's a misconception here. Let's clear the air. We're all reasonable people. Let's get to the issues. Let's clear the air on this process. Because you're wrong, Mr. Berger. The board is meeting today to get the document public. That's the whole point of today, and it's the only point of today. That's not what you just said. You just said there's going to be a resolution yes, proposed do you, do you, to accept it, to accept it as for final. Public, for final public comment. No, for will the people, planning board. Will Make yourself clear. You well, meant for the planning board to Please, ma'am, ma'am, this is, first of all, this is not a public hearing. It's I a public don't, meeting. I don't care. I You're, want you to answer the question. Ma'am, please. I'm please. waiting for the answer. The answer is we are here to deem a document ready for final public review. It's not a final decision. And we can't have it on the Internet and into libraries and in town hall until today happens. Today was supposed to be a short meeting of the board to deem this document complete so all you folks can see it in final form. That's the only reason for today. The public hearing will continue on the 12th of August as promised, and you will all have had an opportunity to see the document in its proposed, I stress proposed, final form. Now, just let me finish. Once the review process has concluded, as Ms. Kassam knows, the board must issue a finding statement. That is the conclusion of the CEQA process. It is not a site plan and special use permit approval. It's the finding statement. And in some respects, it probably will be the roadmap for the development of the project. That remains to be seen. When you read the FAIS, you will see that the board took great pains to try to add things in to form the basis in the finding statement. Because as you know, if it's not in the FAIS, it can't be in the finding statement. The board's been working hard on this. And I'm very protective of the board when people accuse the board of breaking the law, violating the open meetings law. That didn't happen. Public Officers Law 104, subsection 2, will tell you very simply and verify what I just said. Thank you. Then why, then why couldn't this have been, we could not have been notified at Monday night's meeting about was this it, meeting? Was not ready then? There were some things we had to deal with. Look, this isn't public discussion, okay? Yeah. This is for the board. That's what it's for. 
Okay, we've explained everything. We've stated the law. Look at 104 subsection 2 and there you'll see it. You'll see where it's read. Okay. One, 104 well, subsection 1. 104 your, subsection 1. one. You read 1. Mr. Berger, it says right in the statute, a meeting called, let me finish. A meeting called one week ahead of time must comply with the 72-hour rule. This meeting was called the night of the 29th because the board, in its wisdom, said this thing isn't ready yet. By today, we believe it's ready enough. And don't you people want to see it? Don't you? I'm sorry, it's not a public hearing. Don't you people want to see this document? That's not so, the reason for the meeting. The reason is to get it to us. No, it's not. That yeah. you, you, you don't care about. Or you would not have given a 28 day Let's notice call some on the leave. The other DEIS, right? Order, order. You would have accepted our 90 day. Order, but you didn't do order. that. Can you please sit down. Stop screaming. Seriously, sit down. That's not a proper way to act. I can't believe I just had They're to They're not that. a proper way to act. No, the way you're acting is not a proper way to act. Act like an adult. Oh, thank you. Okay. Disgraceful. So, any discussion on everybody I think has had a chance to look at this? Um, Planning Board Town of Montgomery Resolution determining the final environmental impact statement, FEIS, abbreviated, for project sailfish complete around March 16th we got an application um, we've gone through the process um, around May 10th we received uh, a draft FEIS and the planning board and its consultants reviewed the draft EIS FEIS and provided correspondence uh, a number of times in June and on uh, July 5th they, re they submitted a revised draft e FEIS to the planning board, incorporating the revisions requested by the planning board and its consultants. Um, anybody have any questions? Are you reading from the resolution, sir? Yes. Thank yes, you. and it'll be, it'll be available if you want to see it. Um, whereas the planning board's consultants have reviewed the revised draft e FEIS and recommended that it be deemed complete, and now, therefore, be it resolved that the planning board hereby determines that the project's revised draft FEIS is complete and adequate for public review, and be it further resolved that the planning board secretary and board's consultants shall prepare, file, and publish a notice of completion of the FEIS and to file Can and circulate copies the mic, of the FEIS, is com um, the FEIS and a related notice in accordance with the requirements of SEEKER and its implementing regulations. And be it further resolved that the planning board directs that a complete copy of the FEIS and a notice of completion of the FEIS to be posted as soon as possible on the Town of Montgomery website and hard copies provided at the Town of Montgomery Town Hall, the Josephine Louise Public Library in the Village of Walden, and the Montgomery Free Library in the Village of Montgomery. And be it further resolved that the time for final public and agency consideration of the FEIS shall extend to noon on August 27, 2019. Okay, so that is a little better than three. Yeah, and I might add the CEQA regulations provide for as short as a 10-day comment period, and the board is elected to extend that time out to the 27th, which is Tuesday at noon, giving hopefully the public a plenty of opportunity. How many days is that? Okay, so I'll entertain a, a, a motion to accept the FEIS as deem the FEIS is complete. Motion by Jay, seconded by John. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Motion carried. Okay, motion to adjourn. Seconded by Rose. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Another aye. pushing it along, pushing it along. Thank you, everybody. Thank it's you. nice to know that you work for the residents of this town. Very nice. You're pushing it along. You could extend it out further. Why not? Why not? Answer the question, Mr. White. Why not? What's the rush? The regs require us to do things. That's not true. You could extend it out. It's optional. It's optional. We got two of them. We have to study two of them now. We're studying two of them.